Growing up was tricky. Ask any member of the LGGBTQQIAPPK plus community. And yes, I too am amazed that a dyslexic just said all of those letters in the correct order without stumbling. You're very welcome. Most, if not all of us struggled at school. I didn't have terms like transgender and non-binary in my Lexis. I just knew I was different. I knew I liked boys and that was something I should never ever talk about. But at playtime, I could be free, running around pretending to be my favorite females. Lady Penelope from the Thunderbirds, Velma from Scooby-Doo, Storm from the X-Men, and then sneakily Legolas. Not technically a female, but a pointy-eared, beautiful androgynous elf. Yes, please. Something schools don't realize is uniforms. They can hurt. When you'd much rather don a skirt or let your friend get the grass-stained knees from wearing your shorts. You just want to feel free, but it was an urge we could never act on. Kids aren't born with hate in their heart. It's taught. So teach them that clothes they like are just clothes. Their clothes, not clothes for girls and not clothes for boys. And if a school must have this unified student body and have a uniform, let the students pick it. Not the teachers, not the parents, not your mums, not your dads. You can teach them English and maths and the rules to tag rugby and how to kick a ball, but you can never teach them who they are and what they want to be. That was decided the moment they were conceived and will just grow into something beautiful if you let it. So let it.